Hi, hi, ho everyone. Welcome back to the Battle for Indiana 2020. I'm Wilson Avila. Quack is Hello. here right beside me. Oh, dear. And we're already hopping in. Let's hop and talk about these rosters for a sec here. Purdue v. Bethel. Let's see. On Purdue's side, <clears throat> on Purdue's side, we've got Thick, Kenna, Golex, Illusion, Maestration, and the Bush Spy. Oh, wow. Wait, we're already mid match here. And on, I'm sorry, and on Bethel's side, we have Ally, Space Marine, Red Ninja, Zackle, Azrain, and Relentless. We're hopping in right to the fight. And Zackle eliminated. Kenna's able to get a pickoff on Red Ninja, too. Relentless down for the count as well. Space Marine taking some heavy damage. Ally almost out. And, yep, Purdue getting some heavy wipes here. Man, Purdue is going in hot. They are not letting up on this team. Quack, I, how do you think this is going to play out? I think right now both teams are playing aggressive but i feel like purdue is playing even more so than bethel it, it seems that purdue has a bit of a wider uh a, a more it seems that they just have been communicating more this seems like a well-practiced team illusion is able to get the snipe off on red ninja but relentless able to get that res ally gets a pick on thick the tank might just be enough for them to push in oh but no Bush Spy with some Lucio headshots, able to take out the Sniper, and Illusion taking out Asbane. And of course, D.Va with no mech is hardly a D.Va at all. Interesting to see that we have Golex here on Soldier, and Red Ninja swaps to Soldier as well. No Snipers on this. I was honestly expecting some Ash gameplay on Elios. I don't know. Thoughts on why we aren't seeing any Ash here? I think... Uh, Widow has more of a range for um, this map, more so than Ash, because Ash is usually closer to the ground, while while Widow tends to stray a lot higher up. Fair enough. I forgot that Illusion was running with Widow. I failed to see that. Beat does come out from the bush by a bit debatable, but Illusion does have sights, so Illusion might get some cheeky picks here. Moira out of the count. Space Marine meleeed by Widow. Interesting pick there. Bethel is getting camped in spawn. And you hate to see it, but that's how Purdue wins first point. 100 to 0. First cap, last cap, no cap. Quack, that was decimation. How do you think Bethel is going to try and hold Lighthouse here? I think in the first uh, round, Bethel was acting too shy towards, you know, going forwards in the match. So hopefully here, they will learn to push and push a lot harder than Purdue. Because Purdue is pushing with all their might while Bethel is learning or is tending to stray back. Something else I've noticed here. Illusion. Oh, Illusion did swap off of Widow to go Tracer. That might be another boost here to get point. Or it might just be cheeky time for Illusion here. Bethel amping up with Azrain to get that extra speed boost to hit point faster. I feel like the tanks need to be providing some more cover for the backline and the DPS here. But not much you can do when a Winston's diving right on top of you. Red Ninja gets the opening snipe onto Moira. Doomfist punches Lucio right into the wall. And Ally gets punched up by Golex. Golex wiped by Ally. Bethel might have point here. Three to one. Yep, Bethel's taking it with four people on point. Impressive stuff. Getting first point. And just like that, Thick hoping to get back into mech. I love Diva's minigun, but my goodness, there's nothing quite like that hydraulic mecha she carries around with her. So many abilities packed into one thing. I can't master it myself. I don't know. Quack, do you play Diva? Um, I am so bad at tanks, but thankfully D.Va is one of the simpler ones for me. That makes me sad to hear, considering that's difficult for me. But, Illusion able to get a cheeky pick off onto Zarya. The bush by Boops. Mercy to death. Golex gets a pick off on Reaper, and we're about to see a medium strike. And there goes Lucio. Pounded to the ground. And just like that, Purdue has map control. 
and able to stop Bethel at only 36%. Kenna taking high ground as Winston, just jumping around as all good monkeys do. Oh, sorry, scientists, my apologies. <laughs> Anyways, Bethel hoping to get a nice push here. And they're on point, all three of them. They might back cap. Oh my goodness, what a huge back cap. Able to stop Purdue from even getting 20%. And just like that, they have they have it back. They might not win the team fight, but they will at least be getting 10% from that solid push. Golex gets a pick off on Azrain, Bush Spy boops Ally off, and Kenna primals off Rhine. And just like that, Purdue has it back. But Bethel able to get a cheeky cap to 55%. That might be enough for them to get the point. What do you think here, Quack? I think they used Grav in a creative way for that, but without having Grav, they can't have a back cap such as that. I didn't, I didn't catch the Grav play. Can you talk me through what just happened with that? Um, I'm pretty sure Ally, she grabbed right in front of point, so barely on it, barely off of it, but it was enough to get all of them off point long enough for them to cap most of it. And then they just kept pushing them back for most of it. For the rest that of is it. ingenious. Illusion popping off though gets three quick kills off onto the DPS and the support. Purdue does have more control of point than Bethel right now. Relentless swapping off to Moira, and we're gonna see some BAP gameplay here too. I'm very excited to see some BAP being played here. But Illusion is about to have Pulse Bomb, which can devastate an enemy push. And Thick, of course, holding on to Diva Bomb. We, I don't think Diva Bomb's been pulled on. Diva Bombs have pulled this game. Illusion might be trying to stick. Yep, there it is, onto the Rhine. And it gets the Immortality Field. Golex is able to get Baptiste. Zackle popping, it gets the pick onto Lucio. Ally gets Tracer, but Golex and Kenna get two very big picks. Three, never mind. Kenna just going ham right now with Winston. And Thick dives right onto Red Ninja. Golex so proud of his team's push, he commits off the map. This might not be enough for Bethel. And just like that, with the emoting monkey, Purdue wins first map. Ilios. I'm very sad we didn't get to see some well gameplay, but Purdue just said no. We're taking this and we're winning this right here, right now. Maceration gets the Moira play of the game here. This is our second Moira play of the game. I'm honestly a bit surprised to see it, especially with that pro Lucio boop there. Yeah. Well, if that's what it takes to get play of the game, Blizzard, please fix. Anyways, Azraid is able to get 23% of heals done with 6.5k there. Look at the Bush Spy with that. And Kenna with the longest kill streak, not because of how many kills they were able to get, but solely because they were able to stay alive. Winston is able to get some nice fat damage off, and it's not the most, but it can go through shields, and with that beam damage, that might just be exactly what you need. I don't know. It looks like Purdue was very strong with the three cards there at the end. Quack, next match, I'm feeling a Purdue win here. What do you think Bethel can do to counter that? I think if Beth Bethel can take down their defenses, because right now it seems Purdue is definitely aggressive, but they are also extremely good at staying on point and keeping others off of point. So if they can somehow get behind them in a way with uh, flankers like... Uh, Reaper, or even that Tracer was a really good pick. If they can ensure that they don't have as much of a solid defense, I think they can definitely take it. Interesting that you mentioned control here, because we are playing Escort. Very heavy control needed for this. Wouldn't surprise me if we see Orisa yet again. We haven't seen too much gameplay of her. In fact, we only saw her on King's Row Hybrid, which was honestly shocking then, but... I can't expect to see her on Escort here. We are still waiting for map pick, though. Let's see. So far on our stream, we've seen Junkertown. We've seen Havana. What do you think the next pick will be? Um, God, I can't remember any of them. Uh, <laughs> Gibraltar is also really good. Gibraltar is a fun map. I uh, can't believe I forgot about Gibraltar. Thank you for bringing that to memory. That's wow. All that's on the screen. It's such a good map. It looks like it could be Watchpoint Gibraltar. We could get that gameplay in. I will say Purdue did get a victory earlier on 
Havana, in match one, they were able to sweep enemy team. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Ball State. Yes, it was Ball State. They were swept Ball State on Havana. So maybe they go for it again. Possibly. I'm not too certain what to see here. Also, I am seeing a lot of boiler ups going in the chat. Hey, one day, one day we will be equals. Right now, Purdue is popping off right now. And as commentator, I am here for it. As a Hoosier, I have to commentate on it and I have to smile. So we're trying to enjoy ourselves. I'm very proud of all the DPS gameplay I've been seeing from Purdue. It's probably the cleanest DPS gameplay I've been seeing this whole day. What do you think? quack i think their dps is definitely on point today bethel has had some nice tank plays though i am expecting to see some interesting plays here from bethel i don't know i've seen some i've seen some purdue hype in here can we get some bethel hype going in chat if not okay but i'd like to see some for diversity's sake just like i'd like some hoosiers to join please i'm lonely here my fellow hoosiers where are you comrades but in reality, we are all Hoosiers. We're all fighting for IU, or I'm sorry, Indiana. Battle for Indiana going up. And yes, we are getting watch point Gibraltar. Interesting pick here. Huh. Bap can also work here. Of course, he can work with just about any escort, so long as you're holding a corner or holding point. I'm very interested to see what supports we can see. We will probably see some Moira. Not too surprised if we do. The, we haven't seen any Zen gameplay yet today. What do you think about that, Quack? I Want to see some Zen, Zen? I would love to see some Zen. Zen holds a little baby special place in my heart. With his ult, it's a borderline along with Lucio, which is life-saving against a Grav. Well, looks like we get our wish. Maceration starts with a Zen Yada pick. Alongside him is the Bush Spy for Purdue support. Golex rocking Diva and Thick running Winston for Purdue. Illusion with Ash in addition to Kenna's Tracer. Uh, talk me through what we've got going on here for Purdue's team. What do you think they're trying to do as they hold for defense? So far, they have Diva and Reinhardt as their tanks. Uh, two snipers, which is Widowmaker and Ash. And then their healers are Bap and Mercy, so I definitely think Mercy will be pocketing that Widow as hard as she possibly can, if it's, you know, my opinion. Or the Ash. I see her pocketing one of the two, and I think Bap will definitely be doing a majority of the healing on the tanks and such. Fair enough. Ally discorded in this fight. Discord is a huge ability. Lamp coming out to protect Ally, and with Illusion is able to get that pick off on it, though. Good heals coming in. Kenna's able to get Ally out of mech, though, but Red Ninja gets Maceration, a support like that, down in the beginning of the team fight. Bethel has... Oh, Purdue has some nice picks here. Wow, my apologies. Purdue has some really nice picks. Relentless is able to get the res off onto Zackle. Relentless might be in a bit of trouble here, but hoping to get behind Reinhardt. Zackle is on fire, but that close to spawn, you can just hop back in. Thick melees Baptiste down. And just like that, as rain is back in spawn. The Bush Spy is about to hit Valk. Oh, well-timed, well-timed dynamite by Zackle there. Zackle is hoping to get some nice cheeky picks here. At the very least, it gets Bob in, and Bob can be exactly what you need to get past point, but Thick gets a quick elim here. Golex is able to wipe off that immortality field, and Thick also providing Valkyrie here. That's just enough to wipe them in spawn. Oh my goodness, chat. This is this is not going well for Bethel. However, Bethel does have three ults of their own right now in this fight. Oh, but Illusion puts Bob down, and it looks like this is going to be a solid hold here from Purdue. However, anything can happen in two minutes. Might have been a bit quick on the Bob, but regardless, we'll see how this goes. Maceration is holding on to Trance here. Quack, tell me more about Trance. We have yet to see Trance in this fight. We've seen Beats being dropped. You say it's better than Beat. When when, and where should this Trance be used? Trance is an AoE effect, which is beautiful, and he heals for whatever damage they can take while in their field of um, healing. However, Trance can be completely useless if the enemy has an Ana. 
one grenade and trans is basically nothing. We have yet to see an Ana being pulled out here, so... Oh, there comes a D.Va bomb! That might... And it's enough to get D.Va out of mech, but that might not be enough of an Elim to make a solid push here with Bethel. Zackle could be putting Bob down, though. Purdue is making good use of the high ground, and but Zackle is able to get some nice burn off of that. If you're all up there, Dynamite will find you and burn you. Ally is still out of mech. Illusion gets a pick off onto Red Ninja, Thick, Zackle. Zackle gets a bob off in time to take care of Thick, but Illusion and Kenna pick off Z Oh, wow. This is not going well for Bethel. Unable to get into Tunnel for Gibraltar. This is mighty unfortunate. And Purdue is just... Holding on. Purdue only has one ult for this next fight. So maybe if Bethel's able to time everything. Yep, here comes Diva Bomb coming out. And Valkyrie is being popped as well. And Space Marine France. And Red Ninja decides to pop ult here. It's able to get Maceration down. Maceration down. Kenna gets a pick on Azrain though. Oh no. And Relentless is able to res on that. Kenna gets Red Ninja. Kenna's with. Oh, Golex in his highs. Wow. Those are coming in aggressive. Red Ninja is still out of the fight. Kenna is able to come back in. Maybe, maybe Kenna will be able to rush point and be back in time for Soldier. Red Ninja hoping to build back up to Bob. Space Marine plays his Shatter. Oh my goodness, Winston is just keeping him back there with Primal. Golak's able to get an Elim onto Mercy. Zackle down too. Red Ninja gets a pick on Kenna. Azrain down. And just like that, it's only Ally and Red Ninja for Bethel. Oh no, and just like that, unable to cap point one, only getting 60.3 meters down, Bethel is going to have to hold Purdue for a long time. Four minutes given to Purdue here. Quack, I, I said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Purdue's DPS is just too strong. They have been playing a ridiculously clean game. It The DPS difference is present. I think the game's already won. What do you think? As I've said before, Purdue's defense is just completely unbreakable. Their DPS is keeping everybody off their backs while their tanks are completely just swinging everything. Mm. Of course, healers do get their own little baby say because yeah, yeah. they are keeping everybody buddy alive you got to keep up for those healers and if you take them off then you are done support hype in chat but yes dps is vital and i think once the dps difference is present it's almost game over however it looks like bethel gets the dps hog up in this we like this we like tanks we like off meta tanks ally comes in as diva admittedly We've been seeing a lot of D.Va gameplay. I'm not certain how I feel about it, but I'm very excited to see how it goes. Red Ninja on the Ash. Zackal as Genji. Azrain as Ana. Relentless as Mercy. However, we see Illusion's Widow back at it again. Thick playing Tracer. Kenna on Ana. Maceration on D.Va. The Bush Spy playing Mercy. Illusion weak, but Mercy quick with the heals. Thick is running half two. Maceration hoping to get some stuff in. Hoping to get some damage done. Dealt. Illusion down for the count. Thick. Good pick. Zackle and Red Ninja. Two very good picks. Maceration out of mech. Bushfly able to res Illusion. But Bethel might actually have a good hold here. Oh, but wait. Point is getting pushed. Zackle is trying to prevent that from happening. All it takes is one good team fight in Bethel. In, sorry, produce favor and it's game over. Mech is back for Maceration. Illusion gets two solid picks onto the Mercy and the Ana. Golak's able to pick off Ana. This is not going well for Bethel. They are going to have to rush back. Wouldn't surprise me if you see Hog swapping off to Ball here. Ally in Baby Diva. And she is down for the... Oh, wait. She's still surviving with one HP. But it doesn't matter. Purdue takes it all the way. Wow. It's not much of a distance, but how they got there was impressive. It's very impressive to get a hold on Gibraltar like that. A bit of a surprise here. I wasn't expecting Illusion to get play of the game. I was expecting maybe a tank play, but oh, with headshots like that, who can argue? Huge dinks. 
Like I said, it's just Purdue holding them back in spawn. If you can't exit, you're not doing too much of anything. And look at that. We like the offensive mercy with a 43% per kill participation. And, oh, dear. <laughs> These people are very proud of the game they just fought. Bethel takes an L to Purdue, who wins 2-0, taking 1-0 on Gibraltar and two maps on Ilios. Quack, those were some very quick games. I'm honestly a bit tired from that. It was a lot to keep up with in such a short period of time. How are you? Do we need Hi. a do we need a caster's nap going on here? <laughs> I think compared to my role in all of this, I'm pretty small. You are going you're you're doing really well with the play by plays, and I oh, honestly I, don't know how you do it. I appreciate that. But I, I'm very glad of the what we're able to do here on stream. I, I, I'm very appreciative of this. By the way, we're rather inexperienced at this. I don't know. This is my first time. Quack, have, you said you've done this before, right? No, nope, this is my first time as well. Could have fooled me. <laughs> well, I'm very happy that this is going down. Battle for Indiana is still going on. Purdue has had a very strong opening. They ended up winning the Rocket League tournament last night. In addition to the Valorant tournament, I was able to catch some of the Valorant gameplay. My buddies were watching in the room right next to me. They were very impressive, I'm not going to lie. Ball State also had some good plays as well, give you some hometown rep. But Purdue had an unstoppable force with Valorant. I'm not going to lie. So, maybe this is just a thing we can see. League of Legends might be different, but it looks like Purdue is hoping to continue their winning streak here in Overwatch. We've seen every team play. We are about to watch. We're about to watch. Let's see. Who do we have up here? Butler and Purdue. Our very first matchup was Indiana versus Perdu versus Butler. And IU wiped them 2-0. How do you think it's going to go for Butler here? Going up against the strongest team we've seen so far. I think At least in my opinion. I think Purdue has got their stuff together, and if they can keep it up, then they can wipe any other team. As much Fair. as it pains me to say. Oh, dear. You sound very upset by this and distraught. Well, fortunately for you, we have a few minutes to wait until then. Love you all. Chat, keep being awesome. I hope to see you in the next match. Until then, we're going to be taking a short break. That way I can catch up on some of this water stuff. It really keeps the throat nimble. Until then, chat. We'll see you soon. <laughs>